Welcome to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Masculine Diaries for the 4th of May 2022. Holy Spirit, show me the Divine Masculines. We need to hear these messages. Ten of Cups. Okay, so this guy could be married with children with the Ten of Cups and the Six of Cups. Also, he might want to get married. He might want to ask somebody to marry him. Okay, look, lots of water. Maybe there he wants to ask a water sign to marry him. He could be a water sign too. So it could be two water signs here. Six of swords, two of swords. There's some kind of a barrier here. There's a distance. There's, I almost said, a, yeah, I almost said a language barrier. Anyway, there's a barrier. There's a distance between them. They could be overseas with the six of swords here. Okay, so what's going to happen here if he expresses his love to this feminine? What's going to happen if he expresses his love to this feminine? Uh-oh, he's. I think he's going to be left out in the cold. It's going to be the end. Two of pentacles. He might be left in limbo somehow. I think that's true. Look, king of swords. Oh my god, what's with the free kings here? <laughs> Free kings. <laughs> oh my god, there could be multiple people going towards this feminine actually. Wow. The king of cups could be this guy who wants to marry her, right? But then there's a king of pentacles who might be married. Possibly to her or maybe this guy's married to her. I don't know. Because we've got King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Even if she's not married to anyone, this could be a soulmate here, right? This could be like the, the best match for her because she's the Queen of Cups. He's the King of Cups. Possibly. But there's also a King of Swords here who looks... Look, look they're looking like they're looking at each other. Like, the, like this guy's coming with the sword to, to cut this guy. Look, look at that. It looks like they're about to fight for her. And then there's the Six of Wands here, and then this King of Pentacles is kind of, he's kind of like looking from the edges. Like these guys are fighting each other here, but this guy's more detached. He's just looking at everyone, what they're doing here. I don't know. <laughs> Ten of Wands, Ace of Wands. So yes, yeah, somebody wants to express themselves. Who wants to express from all these people? Who is coming towards the feminine from all these guys here? The Five of Cups definitely could be the the water sign, right? Because I was getting water here and I was saying it could be two water signs. So it could be this guy. The King of Cups might want to express his feelings to the Queen of Cups. But there could be a King of Swords in the way. This guy's trying to block this guy from going towards the feminine. And then there's this other guy. What does this guy want? Who's this? Who's the King of Pentacles looking at all these people? Who's this King of Pentacles? Ace of Swords. Hmm. A boss. Some kind of boss here. It could be a boss. I don't know who's boss. Maybe it's this guy's boss or something. Knight of Pentacles. This could be a father. This could be some one of these people's father. Either this guy's father or this guy's father or her father. Yeah, I think this is a father, or this could be the father of her children if she has any. Does this woman have children? Seven of Wands. No, I don't think she has children. I think this could be her father. Or somebody, this guy's somebody's father, and he's looking at these guys fighting over this feminine. What does he want? What does this guy want? What does the King of Pentacles want here? He wants somebody to be defeated. He wants to hold on to somebody. Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. He wants to hold on to his wife or his child. If this is his child. So he might be the father of the Queen of Cups. So what? why is he... What's his... I don't know. Is this some kind of controlling father or something? What's with him here? Eight of Pentacles.
Queen of Swords. Yeah, this is a controlling father. And there's these guys who are fighting over his daughter. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so um, who's the King of Swords? This could be an ex. King of Swords could be an ex of the Queen of Cups. And the ex is trying to block new love from coming towards this feminine. And then there's this father who shouldn't be bugging, who shouldn't be involved in this at all. <laughs> anyway, but he is, he's watching to see what's going on with these guys. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Two of Cups reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. I think this guy doesn't want her to accept any offer from any of these guys the past guy or this king of cups here who wants this could be a past guy too this could be a past life soulmate or somebody from the past king of swords could be an ex of hers and i think the father doesn't want her to accept any of these guys yes exactly okay uh who should she accept should she accept the king of cups though forgetting what this guy wants <laughs> okay nine of pentacles i think she should stay single with the nine of pentacles <laughs> i think that's the answer really should this feminine stay single eight of wands six of pentacles eight of swords uh these people could be bad for her maybe both of these guys are bad for her they could be karmic or yeah they could have her stuck in a karmic cycle here um she should love herself first basically i don't know okay so should she let them both go because yeah that's what i was shown that she should stay single she shouldn't accept any of these guys seven of pentacles she needs to be patient maybe she needs to focus on herself more on her own self-growth more before she can be in a relationship with anyone she needs to maybe she needs to manifest somebody new should she manifest a new love in her life should the queen of cups manifest a new love yes look at that absolutely yes that's a clear yes so she should be dealing with these two guys and this is her father it's not an option okay he's not the love option yeah and she's supposed to let go of these guys and uh, focus on herself and her abundance and her health and then manifest something else a new one yeah she needs to walk away from all these people here okay right okay so what other messages we have so she has to focus on uh working on herself and possibly whatever uh business she has or whatever she's good at right her job her life path her mission her individual mission right right okay queen of swords ace of pentacles so she needs to focus on a material abundance but not just material abundance or on whatever gifts she has from god right her god-given talents she needs to talk she needs to use them right maybe this uh, feminine has the gift of gab with the queen of swords here she could have a good voice if she's a musician even if she's not whatever she needs to express she might have a lot of knowledge that she needs to express and um, she might uh, be able to express this in a very nice way okay so that's what she needs to focus on whatever god-given talent she has so what would be the talents for this feminine we've got three of cups ace of cups this could definitely be her voice this could be an artist this could be a musician specifically eight of swords nine of wands it could be that her throat chakra is blocked or something like that but anyway she has some kind of divine inspiration the free muses right the three of cups i see the three of cups is the free muses so this is somebody who's very artistic very inspired but then there's a blockage here and it could be due to some kind of trauma that she needs to address and once she addresses this trauma the blockages will be removed and it's like her voice her throat chakra would be open or her inspiration this could be like her crown chakra or her third eye could be opened 
and then she's going to be more inspired to do uh, whatever she's meant to do to follow, follow her life path, right? This feminine could have some divine gifts, but that she hasn't tapped into yet. Okay, right, so there you go. That's what she should be focusing on right now. This is very interesting because the divine feminine reading was about the, the a masculine and the divine masculine reading seems to be about a feminine which is weird it could be that this could be this could be a, a woman who is a divine masculine and the, the other one could have been a man who's a divine feminine or something like that but it's it's kind of strange that i'm talking about divine feminine in this one and divine masculine in the other one nine nine Oh my god, 999. Nine. Yeah, definitely this divine inspiration. 9 is a very divine number. 999. Nine, nine. So she needs to unlock her divine gifts. They're blocked right now. And it could be because of trauma, of unresolved trauma. So she needs to focus on healing her heart, on finding self-love and independence. That's what she needs to focus on before she can manifest a better relationship. Seven of Wands, yes. This feminine, like, the, she needs to rise above her situation. That's what I'm getting. Seven of Pentacles. Again, she needs to grow. She definitely needs to grow and focus on herself right now, not on love, on self-love only, okay? And then what is she going to manifest once she's healed, more healed? Of course, we're never going to fully heal, you know, what's the deal? Because we live in this world and uh, there's always more trauma or even if it's not exactly trauma, there's a lot of issues we're dealing with on a daily basis. So Knight of Cups, but she needs to heal though, more than she is right now. But there's going to be some kind of love offer coming towards her when she's more healed. Maybe when she's not really uh, focused on it, right? Who's going to come towards her? Eight of Cups. Six of Cups. It could be somebody from the past or a soulmate or something. Who exactly is going to come towards her? Eight of Pentacles. Could be somebody, a co-worker or something. Somebody she works with. Oh, come on. With the Tower moment, it could be a Scorpio. Because I was thinking of Scorpio earlier. This is Capricorn. Number 8 is Scorpio, right? This is the 8th sign. Anyway, it could be somebody who's a hard worker. Who is this person that's going to come towards her once she's more healed? Talk to me about the person. Uh-oh. Seven of Swords. With the Seven of Swords, I think she's not supposed to know yet. I hope the person that is not the Seven of Swords... Capricorn Aquarius could be somebody on the cusp of Capricorn and Aquarius. I don't know. Yes, maybe yes. Maybe this is the case for somebody indeed. Okay, that's why we're getting these. This is Libra energy. Four of Swords. Anyway, um, this masculine could be healing too. Whoever this is, they're also healing. They're in the process of healing. So right now they can't be together anyway. Ten of Pentacles. But they're going to have the Ten of Pentacles. They're going to be together eventually. But right now she shouldn't be focused on that. She should be focused on li her life path. Yeah. And uncovering uh, whatever her secret gifts are. Or she could have some gifts that she left behind. Like she, she didn't focus on them. On developing them. And uh, she needs to go back to the drawing board. And bring up all those uh, gifts she's had. Um, yeah, and uh, do what she's meant to do. Knight of Pentacles. She needs to work, okay? She needs to focus on work. And also op opening her uh, upper chakras. That's what I'm getting. And getting divine inspiration. Anything else? No, nothing else. Yeah, it's, it, I'm still going to leave this as the Divine Masculine reading, but it's interesting how they flipped. The energies were flipped. Because uh, I was drawn to talk about the Masculine in the Feminine reading, and I was drawn to talk about the Feminine in the Masculine reading. Anyway, 
Yeah, I hope this helps someone. Take care. Bye.